Welcome back everybody, Budley Neck here with another adventure of Zero to Hero. As you can see, I've been doing some building and I oh, and I've been hitting F5 a lot. There we go. I've been working on our underground lair here a little bit. Um I came in here and I thought it would be cool to connect up that entrance with the behind the waterfall entrance. So I've done that here. And I need to connect this somehow to our farms. I don't know for sure that I'm going to do that. I may actually rebuild those farms up here because this is a, a, a nice spot to do it. So for now, I've got here. When I came down and I made these walls like this, it looked like an eye to me. So I made kind of like a, a giant eye of Soren kind of look here. I think it looks pretty awesome, you guys. But yeah, so I've been working on that. Um, I have increased the blaze count dramatically in my XP farm. I am up to over a stack now. That one's 500 and that one is 277. I think I'm going to finish this stack off today. I've also got a few really cool things in my inventory that we're going to take a look at today that are going to kind of change the game for us. One of them will anyway. If we look in my inventory here, we have a 200 by 200 extension. Now that's a game changer for us. That means that we can build some more farms out there, some more cactus farms, maybe bring some more alts over here and start getting some more stuff. And that's definitely gonna increase our, uh, our payout. And I also got this turtle creature the other day when I was opening crates from my experience. And uh, I think we're gonna take a look at that today. So I think the first thing I'm going to do today is finish this up because it's looking so good here. I think it looks amazing all through here. And then over there, it's just blah. So we need to get this finished and get this fixed up. And uh, I might actually go ahead and move these farms up right now just to put them where it makes a little more sense. So I'm going to do that right now off camera. And when I come back, that'll be all done. Okay, you guys, I'm back, and as you can see, I've moved the Blaze Farm up here. I've closed this in. For now, I just kind of closed everything in, in the coal blocks, and uh, I made the Blaze Farm out of lime glass. I think it looks pretty awesome there. And um, I actually bought enough spawners to get this other one up to 500. So we should be able to put that on there. I already leveled that one up to three. Let's level this one up to level three. And we are set with our uh, AFK experience farm. So now whenever we want, whenever we AFK, we can just stand right here. I'll set up console client with my uh, sell script so it can just stand here, collect everything and sell the drops. And we will get XP and we can get keys to get all kinds of good loot. Next up, we are going to use our extension which this is pretty exciting you guys i've been limited to 100 by 100 we will use this and actually nothing shows yet i have to log out and log back in i'm going to do that real quick and when i do we'll see we have a ton more room i'll be right back you guys all right you guys i am back and look at this we've got so much more room to build i think the first thing we're going to do is actually move this out we'll make some more ground here and we're going to get rid of this uh cactus farm here we're going to move over here, we'll probably build a whole row of cactus farms or something off in the distance, and maybe I'll make a big cliff out here, something to hide it, some way to make it look better. But for right now, this looks pretty good. Okay, you guys, next up, we need to empty our random item generator. Let's see what we've got in here. I've been emptying this pretty much daily, sometimes a couple times a day, so there isn't a ton in here, but let's empty what we have, and let's see what that brings our island level up to. Let's get all of these big value ones in there first. And we will do diamonds and emeralds. And let's see what we got, you guys. 716, so we got oh, about 60,000 from that. And let's see where that puts us on the is top list. 17, we went up a rank. We're up to 17, you guys, that's not bad. We're getting awful close to that top 10. Ooh, look at that. They're not even 2 million above us now. So we are catching up pretty quick. 
Okay, next up, um, I'm gonna experiment with this turtle creature, I think, and see what it does. I've never had a turtle. Let's see the description here of turtle. Fishing rewards. Unlock creature, okay. So, well, I need to set up somewhere to fish. I guess I could fish right here, technically. I guess I'll, mm, I'll set up a little better spot. I'm gonna fish somewhere where it's not moving water. That'll make it a little bit easier. So, ooh, actually, I think I have somewhere in back here. Ooh, I could set up a really cool little fishing spot over here. This would actually be an amazing fishing spot. I'm going to turn this into a little pond here real quick. And once I get done with that, I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, I made a nice little fishing pond. I made sure I grew some weeds around here because every time I've ever been to a nice little fishing pond, they're always surrounded by weeds. It's a little bit of a job to get to the good ones. But once you get there, you get some good fish, right? If you fish, let me know down in the comments. But anyway, we're going to use this turtle creature. And I'm kind of excited to see what this does. So let's go ahead and... We'll summon him. Let's see what he looks like first off. Oh, he looks pretty cool. He's a cute little guy. Um, and you know what I just realized? I don't have a fishing pole. Let's go ahead and make one of those real quick. Okay, here we go, you guys. I don't know if the turtle actually, if luck and all that affects it, but I guess we'll see. I don't know how interesting this is gonna be as far as video to sit and watch me fish. But I think what I might do is either I might time lapse this or I might just do a cut and see what I get. I'll fish for a few minutes and see what kind of stuff I get from it. Um, if it were a rainy day, that would be nice. That would speed it up a little bit. But we do have access to the sky, which is good. If you ever make a, if you ever make a fishing hole, make sure you have access to the sky because that does speed up the fishing a little bit. And you know what? I think I might go try to enchant this fishing pole. I do have the enchanting set up in there because I think that's going to speed things up too. Oh, here we go. Here we got our first, what do we get? We got a puffer fish, but nothing on the first one. I don't think let's put this stuff away. That way I know for sure what I get. Oh, I got seeds, but I think that was from, uh, when I was making this area, I broke some of the grass. Oh, I keep seeing the little water particles. I'm thinking I keep thinking a fish is coming. Yeah, after this next fish, I'm going to go enchant this fishing pole. I'm going to fish for about 10 or 15 minutes and see what kind of luck I have with it. And see what kind of loot I get from this turtle. Ah, oh, I missed it. Okay, I'm going to go enchant this and I'm going to fish for a little bit. And then once I find out what I get, I'll come back and let you guys know. Okay, you guys, I am back. Whoops, I just missed that one. I am back and my turtle is just about to wear out. I checked it out. His hunger is at one out of 100, so he's gonna wear out any second now. And wow, these rates are so low uh, when the turtle is level one. I don't know if they get much better as he levels up. Oh, he just wore out. So here is all the loot I got while fishing. And that was for an entire, uh, duration of the turtle, I guess, for its hunger from 100. So in total, out of, let's see here, I got 26, 27, 28 fish. Uh, this is just regular fishing loot. All I got from the turtle was 16 blocks of emeralds. And when you get something from the turtle, it will actually let you know in the chat here, it said 16 blocks of emerald from the turtle. And yeah, that's all I got so far. So as I AFK, I'm going to let this turtle stay out and let him level up whenever I think about it. And whenever I can, I'm going to try to get him to level up. Uh, oh, and by the way, I was, uh, this is the fishing rod I was using. I crafted a unbreaking three luck of the C three lure three, which isn't bad. So, uh, you don't get a whole lot better than that. And while I was fishing, I actually fished up this one, which isn't awful. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. Uh, so turtles to start off with aren't great. I don't know if they get better later on. Hopefully they do because uh, well, I'm not much into fishing anyway. Uh, sometimes, I mean, I've set up AFK fishing before on uh, like a vanilla uh, survival world. Uh, but yeah, normally I don't, I don't do it too much unless I'm really, really desperate for food and survival. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be all the time I have for this episode. 
Uh, today's actually Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to any moms out there. Make sure you tell your mom happy Mother's Day. Um, well, actually, if you tell her now, it's going to be too late, probably. I'm going to try to get this up today, but uh, I don't know if it will be. It might not get up till tomorrow because I still need to edit this and upload it. But for the end of this episode, we're going to go ahead and buy as many village spawners as we can. Um, let's see, what can we get? We got 160 million. That should get us almost 30. Maybe 29. Oh, we could do 28. All right, let's see if we can. How close are we to finishing off this? This one's up to 335. So we're getting close to a thousand. And our payout is actually over a million already, which is pretty cool. And uh, since uh, since the last episode, I've actually uh, got a couple more T3 hoppers. I'm up to six T3 hoppers now, I believe. And another thing we need to do before we end this episode is we need to set up this other minion that I got right here. Let's set this guy up. And we will just go ahead and give him this multi-block pick. We'll set him to gen mode. And we will go to his inventory, give him this multi-block pick. And we need to link him to our void chest over here. So now we have two minions collecting experience for us. Let's go ahead and grab the experience from this guy. I haven't got it from him in a while. So what, uh, 174,000. It's not great. My uh, Blaze Farm is actually producing quite a bit more. So he's really become kind of useless already. But, I mean, it's better than just sitting in your inventory. Might as well have him making some experience for you. Okay, you guys, that is all for this episode. It seems like it's going to be kind of short. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens in the editing. I'm going to tuck away here in my little AFK spot. Uh, next time I play, we're going to go ahead and use up some of this XP that I've been gathering. Uh, right now, I'm up to almost 10 million. I'm going to AFK for a while, and I'm going to keep adding to those blazes in there. And hopefully by next episode, we'll have quite a few keys, basic, advanced, and legendary to open, which would be super cool. And uh, yeah, that's all for this episode. Like I said, happy Mother's Day. Tell your mom happy Mother's Day. Hey, tell your mom I said hi. And uh, yeah, have a good one. This has been Bully Neck with Zero to Hero. If you like this episode, make sure you leave a like and a subscribe if you're not already. Leave a comment to let me know what you guys want to see. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.